Good evening fellow Groove Riders and Wilf and Wills Electrical Services. Welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV. In tonight's episode, we've got Joey attacking Jack. Yeah, show, show Joey. <laughs> yeah. Connect with family and friends first. Can them little bad boys. Come on boys, come on boys. Yes, yes. On Friday morning, we're just uh, down at a farm. We're just changing the actual, uh, we're changing the uh, that meter for that one there. And uh, it's quite rare, you hardly ever see these uh, type of isolators, these fused isolators. I think they're pretty big in, uh, and they're pretty big in uh, Ireland. But yeah, you hardly ever see them. So we're just changing that for a digital one. It's just that he's uh, started giving out some funny readings. MZ. Jackie boy, that means it's Friday, Jackie boy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And MC, so right, let's crack so on. So we're literally just neighbouring one to four, so you, I think that is normally the supply, then the supply neutral, load neutral, load, so that goes out to that isolator. That's what I found, look. That little dead corpse of that spider. Have a look at this spider, Jack. Yes, yes. So basically, what we've got to do, change this, me up and change this old thing. Yeah, the whole thing's, yeah, a mess. But basically, we've got to label it up here, one, two, three, four. So it'll be load, neutral, neutral, supply, or supply, neutral, neutral, load. I'm not sure what way around, but... And all the tails go into there. I think it's all fed from this isolated area, but the whole thing's just an absolute mess. So, yeah. So Ebs is just going to change this meter because uh, it's a great experience for him because this is obviously a private meter. There's loads of shit going on here, so don't worry about it too much. But a good way, if you lose, it's, as I was just explaining to Ebsy and Jackie Boy, is that with a meter, the two, the two in the middle are always neutral. So usually the one on the left is always the mains supply and the one on the right is always the load. But if you just quickly ring out the two, the two connectors, yeah, and that's yeah. always how you know they're always going to be neutral, yeah? Yeah. Because obviously you're not metering that, are you? All right, then, guys. So just enough little tip whilst you're doing it is when, you, when you're when you actually screwing them up, is always do the top one first, then you can feel whether it's biting, then whether it's going in enough or that. But that is the best way of doing it because... Uh, it's been, and also what you've got to do is be careful. There's no there's no actual newton meters uh like what what sort of tightness we should do them so we're literally doing them up as tight like as we can but you got to be really careful because you can easily shear them uh, heads mm. on those and it's you know obviously if you shear that it's a bit painful okay. because they're the only little grub screws here this jackie boy mm -hmm. you get that baby cakes look they are yeah so basically to get these in i've started this one but yeah it's, that goes in like that so i think that is a what size view is this? Uh, 63. Up 16. That goes in like that, guys. Yeah, so just uh, show the people the meter. So that's all back up and running. That's on zero. So Ebsy's just now going upstairs to do a loop at the board and all that. So, yeah, and that's that changed. If you just have a look around here, see all this. This is all needs sorting. So basically the supply goes in there. This is there. And that goes to that isolator there. I thought it was that one, but it's this one. It's the first time we've worked on this part, so yeah. <laughs> Just doing some back to back sockets. I've just drilled through that. Uh, Jake's going to get some grommets, and we're just spurring off. They're all, they're all rings. Well, we're going to check them anyway, so make sure they ain't coming through. It's just through there. When I was in Thailand, one of those actually, look at the size of it compared to my hand. Yeah, when we were in Thailand, we were laying there. <laughs> so one just coming like, like, like suck in between me and my mate is about the size of my hand it was. Oh. It was absolutely terrifying. Yeah. Big old thing, can you see that probably? Oh, boom. I don't think they sting. Already done that one. So we've come through there. One's worth bad boy they are. About 50, 60 of them suckers. She's just painted it. So we've got one already there. Ebs is doing this one here. It's actually really nice and warm out here now, Ebs, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I've got this bad boy. Yeah. Not just the other side. This game. Nice one. 
Nice. We love this one. Oh, okay. We'll come to sort you out, guys, haven't we? Last one, you folded it over here. So we just run a bit of conduit from the back through the wall, don't we? Yeah, and I fold that down like that. Keep the yeah, so it doesn't get off. pulled out. I left a bit of slack in that inside socket anyway. Nice one. This house is awesome. I've worked up at this house for about 15 years. So it's, I reckon, yeah, see that little end bit there? I rewired that. That's its own little annex. And this used to be its own little annex, but then they bought it off their parents, which we're going to next. And that's the whole lot. So enough quick job. Uh, Ebsy just put the, up these light fittings as well. So they look gorgeous. Uh, this was the other one. Well, obviously, if you recognise this, this is where we've done the extension, but they've got the lights and they don't want the pendants in the middle, so we've taken the cords off. But he's going to continue have that there because uh, they'll change their minds in the next month. So it'll be ready. King got the wrong lamp for that one. And we've just put a dimmer on here and we're just isolating this because that was actually a doorway there. Jetty boy took the switch off. I've changed this for a dimmer. So we've cannibalized this because we've got a very light dimmer. We've got a BG dummy dimmer because that does that fan up there. And uh, we've just got to isolate these sockets. So all in all, what we've done is we've removed that socket and we're going to put it in one of, uh, where's the JB? That JB there, that Hagen one. And that's going to be buried. And that used to be two way with that one because that used to be the doorway that used to be where we've just come from, used to be the barn part. So all in all, Ebs, right touch. And you got Saturday off as well, didn't you? Yeah. We thought it was gonna work, be working, then we chatted you up and all sorts, and now all of a sudden we got blown out. Morning, Saturday morning, got a little call out, not too far away to be fair. So it should be quite nice. Uh, the uh, tenant herself called me up last night complaining that the uh, lights keep tripping off. So what I suspect it could be is I reckon I've had a little change of heart because for some reason when she said it kept tripping off, I kept thinking it'd be an RCD, but then obviously then uh, she wouldn't be able to reset it. So I reckon it's probably going to be a dodgy ballast or maybe a driver or something like that, or maybe a uh, transformer. But uh, we'll head off over there, it's only in there, but it's only a mile away, so hopefully it'll be a, uh, not too long. Well, I'll hopefully get some recording when I'm there. I'll see you when I'm there. Yeah, so that break is off. The RCD holds in, but the MCB don't. It's top floor. That's the longest it's held in for. Might even do a test on that RCD. That's gone again. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump upstairs and have a quick look. And then I'll start breaking down the circuit and see where it is. Well, so I've been looking around this, uh, I've been in this call out and the lady, the actual lady decided to have a little bit of a turnout. And uh, the last thing for me to visually inspect was the shout, the shaver. Uh, uh, shaver points so uh, she did have a broken switch so I went and got that from the unit I don't know where I've got the MK one and I've also got a uh, replacement RCD it all seems a bit funny I did have a little nose in the loft a quick look but now I've gone and got my test so I can start doing insulation resistance and breaking it all down so I actually think it's going to be the shaver point though but as I say where she had a morning turnout whilst I was there I was like oh mate it's only one bedroom flat so I had to go so I've moved the shaver point moved the uh to put the fluorescent light fit in and all that, so I've moved all the loads and I'm getting this on uh, life to earth. So I'm gonna have to start splitting the circuit up. Life to neutral is all clear. Oh no, must be something across the heart. Oh, that's probably, yeah, uh, oh no, it can't be. Oh, interesting. Right, let's start breaking the circuit down. The guy's abroad, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so I'll just quickly do a little video so we can see what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't suppose I could just...
as you added this to get some heaters. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, I'll get them for you. Okay. I did wonder why you had so many. Oh, I know. Well, it just gets really naked, that bloody radiator thing. So... Just like shove some bits in the loft whilst you're here. Oh, you don't mind, do you? I know. Well, I'm just saying. I have got ladders downstairs. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just give us a minute and I'll do this video, yeah? yeah? So basically, I disconnected it there, got it from there, and it's running. So what I've done is I've disconnected it in that one there, halfway, pulled it, pulled them out, and then I put um then I put them in way goes together in there, then I'll run round found each one which was belling out and then i brought it found it bound down to this room here and then it turns out that we've done insulation resistance between there and there and this is dead short so we'll need to rewire that bit there yes paul <laughs> yes but yeah sorry about this i've got a call i've been on a call out can i have 40 meters of 16 oh, i'm Africa just on my way actually we'll see yeah, yeah. Daniel, i'll come i'll come <laughs> out i'll come out you tell me just show me and i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it no no i'll do it no, sure? no no it's my side you like it paul yeah. just don't swear paul because then i can put it on okay my... sorry mate sorry and i won't sh <laughs> no need to be like that jamie <laughs> James actually gonna do this one, Will. Oh my god. Yes, yes, Jamie. Come on. Come on, Jamie. Yes, yes. Come on, Jamie. Uh, yes. Good. Good He's quickly becoming captain of industry. He's probably uh, private already. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> yeah. So don't forget when you're counting it, it's one for me, one for you, yeah? <laughs> the 40 metres of 16 mil three core. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what would you be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like dance for a bit of game on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's an area to say, yeah. Gaze. <laughs> so, is this, so is this your first time? No. It's not your first rodeo? No, definitely not. Like it. Like it. I like it. It's more grasses than I have. I didn't it. I didn't know it was the first time. <laughs> oh my god, Jamie, you can't say that sort of stuff. So, where's it counting then, Paul? Show us where it's counting. You count on here, mate. That's why I've it calibrated once a year. Yeah, of course. I bet you get pulled up on that for like, a few, few of the old O's, didn't you? Every <laughs> now and then, mate. <laughs> I like old Jamie, though. He's got, got his speed setting as well, Will. Has it? So, we start it off slow. And then as we get more experience, we make it go faster. Yeah. See, Jamie's gone straight in there at a jogging speed. Yeah. Which is ambitious, and I like that. It's on five, mate. You're yeah. Steve Lee's Barrow fan, aren't you? Well, part-time, yeah. <laughs> we thought you were West Ham because you got hand tattoos. What a chance, mate. <laughs> Come on, what's it going then? 21. Yes, yes, Joey. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and don't forget if you're going to be anything, to be electric. Imagine not being a Sparks Jackie boy. Bye! <laughs>